What is up everybody? I'm Danny702 and welcome back to Hollywood Studios. We are here a little late today. It's a little after three o'clock, which is normally when I am exiting the park, but we are just now getting here and entering the park. We're gonna meet up with some friends. We have some reservations. We're somewhere that I have been trying to get reservations for for a very, very long time. We've only been there once and it was over a year and a half ago, I believe. We're heading in there tonight. Let's go. It is a beautiful day out, a little windy, but I will not complain because it feels good to be back. We are gonna be spending most of our time in Batu. That's where our reservations are. Our reservations are in about three hours though. So before we head over there, I do wanna get on some kind of roller coaster. I'm meeting two friends today, one of them being Tampa J. Hey, how about Sleeky Dogs? You must be the new toys. Welcome, I'm Sheriff Woody. Hi, Woody. And you've got a play date with Destiny. Ooh, a play date with Destiny? That sounds intriguing. a fun time. I absolutely love that ride. Crowds are looking fairly good here inside of Galaxy's Edge. It is a Sunday. Always telling us to move along. Move along. I think I'm wearing the appropriate shirt for them today because I've got my pew pew shirt on. Pew pew! Batu seems heavily guarded today. They really got the stormtroopers everywhere. Still no sign of Kylo Ren though. You know, I only recently saw Rise of Skywalker and I'm a big Kylo Ren fan, so let's just say I didn't care for it. I think it's about time that we ride this hunk of junk. Oh no, it's taking off. We wanted to get on it. Jay, we gotta go. We gotta get on board. We gotta go. All right, let's go. <laughs> They're gonna go without our wait time is going to be 35 minutes. Not too shabby for a Sunday. I feel like I haven't done this one in quite some time. Well, I did want to ride it, but it looks like there is a gashing hole on the bottom of the Falcon. Hopefully they fix that before we get on board. It definitely might be quicker than 35 minutes. We're just walking right on through. Oh no, what happened to the R2 unit? His head has blown off. Oh no, what happened over there? Oh no! <laughs> now there's our friend Hondo Anaka. <laughs> Another group of flight candidates. Welcome, my friends. Welcome, welcome. What a fine looking group of flight positioners. Insane how immersive this is. It looks so incredibly real. I literally feel like I am aboarding the Millennium Falcon right now. Well, be confident, of course. I think it was. You're still here, go, go. We've got the whole cabin to ourselves. We got the whole Falcon the to whole ourselves. Falcon. Push the flashing button to take off. All right, your turn. Not my turn. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, right. Right. What am I? Oh, I'm left and right. I'm left and right. Oh, I gotta, gotta stable us out a little bit. Oh, oh God. Woo! Ah! Light speed. Light speed. All right, light speed. Dead That's what you got. 
when you try to log and fly at the same time, you basically damage. Uh, but I guess it's already a hunk of junk, so I, you know, it's probably not too bad. Uh -oh. That's not good. This is one gorgeous sight. It's golden hour here at Hollywood Studios. You got Mickey's Runaway Railway in the distance at the Chinese Theater. There is the SS Down the Hatch here at Echo Park or Echo Lake. So cool. Beautiful day out. The sun has gone down and the neon signs are up, which means it is almost time for our reservation. Now this is a little bit of a trip. We're heading back to Galaxy's Edge, but walking by at Mickey's Runaway Railway, the wait time is showing 15 minutes. One to five. Wow. Back in Batu at sundown. It is so freaking cool back here when the lights are on, the sun is down. I guess it's suns. Two suns. Suns are down. So, gotta watch your heads though. You never know what's flying in the air. I haven't said where we're going, but I probably put it in the title. We are going to Olga Cantina. It has been a very long time since I've been there. I've only been in there once. And if I'm completely honest, I didn't quite care for it. The atmosphere is absolutely amazing, but it was so loud and crowded when I went. They put us, me and Eddie, at a table of maybe 10 other people, a very, very small table. I mean, hardly enough room to put down your drinks. But because it's a modified version, I have a feeling that I'm gonna love it. We were invited by Michael K, who was able to get the reservation today. Oh, we're heading in? We're ready already. All right. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Oh, how exciting. There are a couple that you need to know while inside the canteen. Okay. Okay. It's gonna be a lot of information, so don't be alarmed if you, you know, you're like, oh my gosh, it's so much I can't handle. The rules. Oh, it's a very strict place. These are the rules. Are you ready to listen? Yes. Okay. No. 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 No one break. Oh. Rex is playing tonight. He's definitely a, one of the favorite DJs out here. Oh, so cool. Okay, let's look at the menu, and we do have a 45 minute time limit inside. Unfortunately, if you guys stay longer than 45 minutes, Uncle Gara will be forced to come down and you out. Oh no! <laughs> oh, you don't, you don't. You didn't hear this from me, but she's a uh, interesting woman. <laughs> to Michael K, who was able to get the reservations today. It's a, it's a birthday present for Danny. That's what oh. right Well, thank there. you. Thank Just you very much. Out. I love it. It's definitely a hard ticket to get here. It is. It is. Oh, that's we've that's got the best the seat. I mean, DJ Rex is right behind right us. Yeah. Is there something that you really like here? I love it. Uh, the Blue Bantha. That's my favorite. Blue Not Bantha. alcoholic. Wow. Great All right. I'll have to take a look. If you guys are hungry, the half the door sample is really good. I'll get that. So they gave us a QR code so that we can pull up the menu. We do have a very few options for food, but of course a whole bunch of options for drink. So of course they have concoctions with alcohol. And down here without alcohol, I think I'm going to go for this java juice. Orange juice with pineapple, kiwi, cantaloupe, and blueberry pop and pearl. He does have some funky music on, as long as he doesn't put on the dubstep, because then they're going to be sending in the death troopers. And I don't think that's a good thing. So this is what I mean by the last time we were here, we had about 10 people surrounding this one little table. Only me and Eddie and eight people we didn't know. And now we have the whole thing to ourselves because it's modified, of course. They do have booths available, probably for a bigger party though. Here's a view of the bar. Definitely, definitely loving the vibe in here. And so far, way better experience than my first time that I've been here. Oh, there's a little creature in this green one. Over here looks like another creature. Michael said that you can see his eggs on the bottom there. You don't want Grogu to get next to those though. Look at all the different tabs. Oh, they look so cool. Oh, look, this one's called Yub Nub. And this one looks like a lightsaber handle. Oh, that's so insanely cool. Oh, what's that? There's like a brain. A little Ford mug. Here is the beer flight. Ooh, this one is pretty cool. All the different designs in there. We got some Ewoks. We got a AT-AT. So Michael just told us this beer flight is actually 
the teeth of the Rancor. The Rancor. Oh my gosh. So cool. you get a Rancor. That is really, really cool. No, you can't right, really see it. But, yeah. Oh, there we go. Definitely the shape of a tooth. That's pretty cool. Here we are at the Cantina, enjoying our drinks, eating your brawls, and listening to our favorite contraband songs. Okay, both of yours came with a cookie on it. What was this one? The blue bamba. The blue bamba. So it's blue milk and a cookie. It tastes like even better than the regular blue milk. Oh, okay. Get outside. I feel like it's, this is better. It just got a better quality taste to it. <laughs> Maybe it's the added cookie. Probably. <laughs> and I got the I forgot my Java juice. Got the Java juice. And it's got some popping pearls on top of it. Cheers, cheers, friends. There you go. For your favorite drinking song. Definitely has that citrus twist to it. I really like this. Just make sure you eat them all before they hatch, okay? Oh gosh, okay. <laughs> Organic, of course. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, total Grogu status. They told me I gotta eat all the eggs. And uh, I thought that that was frowned upon. But I guess the baby Yoda can do it. We can do it too. You actually match your drink. Oh yeah. I forgot about that. <laughs> Yes, absolutely. Hey, isn't this place great? We were admiring the lights on the oh, table awesome. and how it's making my drink light up in different colors. And I spotted a hidden Mickey in there. Do you guys see him? Are we losing power? I don't know. Everybody's yelling at DJ Rex. I'm still getting used to that. Oh, no. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh. Oh. He's, He's alive. Hello, folks. I'm DJ Rex. This may be your first time here, and it's mine, too. <laughs> that was freaking awesome. <laughs> All right, Captain Rex or DJ Rex, it was good seeing you. See you next time. Definitely better than my first time that I was in here. This was a really, really cool experience. Modified version, which is not as loud and you get a little bit more space. Two thumbs up. Thank you, Michael, for inviting me my out. My pleasure. Happy belated birthday. Thank you so much. Hell yeah. It's definitely a hard ticket. I've been trying to get in there for a while. The trick is just keep checking. Just look at the app and just refresh and just again and again and again. <laughs> keep looking. Keep looking. Just every day. Every just day. Keep checking. Yep. All right. That's the trick. There you have it. Right there from Michael K. There you go. Okay, this is so cool at nighttime. I feel like I have a whole galaxy's edge to myself. Thanks so much for watching. I had a really great time. Olga's Cantina, totally different experience this time than the last time. I absolutely loved it. Thank you to Michael K for inviting us and to Tampa J for hanging out. And to the both of them, they bought me my drink because it was my birthday a couple of days back. So thanks guys, totally wasn't expecting that. Until next time, be safe out there. And you know, I love you. All right.